What's good YouTube? Kyle back here again. I don't know why I didn't focus there, but anyways, back with a brand new video. Today's video, we're doing a Q&A that I posted on my Instagram poll. If you guys aren't following me on Instagram, I'll put it on the screen right here. I don't know. Um, I do post a lot, a lot of content on there, a lot of stories, a lot of posts, uh, more than I do on YouTube, obviously, because it's so much more easier and more convenient. Today's video, we're doing a Q&A because it is midterm season and it is kind of hectic as a student that has a part-time job, wants to go to the gym, maintain a social life. It gets kind of overwhelming to keep doing these uh, pranks, I guess. And by the way, I, my mom's still alive. She she was pretty pissed at me, but uh, it is what it is. I gotta do it for the YouTubes. If you guys haven't watched the prank video, I'll put a screen right here. But anyways, today's video is gonna do a Q&A. Hope you guys do understand my point of view. And uh, let's begin the Q&A. Run it up. Also, I'm gonna put timestamps on which questions I do answer, so you guys don't have to like run through the whole video and just find out if I answer your question or not. So let's run it up and let's get her going, baby. I feel like as a 22 year old, a lot of people can definitely relate right now. Um, you get to the point where your life is like you're about to graduate and you try to figure out what you're trying to do with your life still. And I'm not gonna lie, like the last couple of days I've been having a midlife crisis, I've been stressing out pretty heavily, and usually I never stress out at all about anything. Other than if it's like really important, it's like emergency or anything like that. But usually I don't really stress out about tests, exams, anything like that. But uh, past few days I've been I've been stressed out lately, and I'm trying to figure out what I want to do in my life. I didn't get an interview for chiropractic school, but at the same time, it's like, do I really want to spend four years of my life learning something I may or may not enjoy and spending another hundred thousand dollars in tuition? I don't know. I feel like after I graduate, I just want to take one year off and just really evaluate and reflect on my life whether whether I want to do that or not because school's always got to be here. YouTube, I don't know. I don't know how, this, how long this YouTube thing will last for so I may as well take advantage of the opportunity now. In terms of what I want to do after I graduate, um, just honestly take a year off and just really reflect and just evaluate what I want to do with my life and maybe just talk to my parents about that because I feel like I'm not the only one in the same boat so thank you for your question Sarah. Until I get recognized, I feel like I'm just another student honestly. Uh, I feel like there's other YouTubers at UFT that I've seen on YouTube. I do follow them on, on I do subscribe to their channel. So if, if any UFT YouTubers are watching this video, you want to collaborate or anything like that, hit your boy up in Instagram's DMs or just shoot me a message on YouTube, comment down below, whatever. I'm open to it. I did meet one uh, YouTuber from UFT, which is Alanka, and she's super chill, super cool. She's into fashion, all that stuff. So I'll put her YouTube link down below as well. Okay. From Lisa. AKA Ling Ling, I miss you so much. I can't believe you you quit it without telling me. Aside from the materialistic things in life, like the money, like cars, clothing, luxurious brands, um, I love seeing my friends, my close friends especially, do things they love and make a career out of it. Like, I think Luke Channel is trying to become a uh, artist and he loves doing that and I love seeing him create music and like be creative because that's the person that he is. I love seeing that from him. Like Barbara Han, he loves cutting hair and make a career out of that. As a barber, Yopi, uh, hopefully one day you know, he becomes a Twitch streamer full time because I know he wants to do that. At the end of the day, he's a gamer at heart. So I just love seeing my friends uh, evolve and just grow and just do things they love. And I just love seeing them happy, pretty much. Other people's success makes me happy, especially when they're close to me. So what makes me happy is my friends doing things that they love to do, pretty much, okay? And obviously the materialistic things, who doesn't like money and cars and girls, stuff like that. So that makes me happy for sure. Uh, I wear size medium, bro. I'm not sure if that means anything, if that's significant or not, but I wear size medium. The, the, the tattoo prank video and the day in the life of University of Toronto student, definitely for sure. I'm not saying because it's a 10,000 views right now, it's the most viewed video, but I do, I did enjoy, like I really like genuinely enjoyed filming that video with Yopi for sure. It's not, I don't have this external motivation to, you know, m make videos uh, for a uh, materialistic point of view. Although, yeah, I'm not gonna say, sit here and say that the, you, the clout, the money is not great, obviously, but at the end of the day, like, the drive comes from within whether I want to make content or not. Like, I genuinely love making YouTube videos. This is the only thing that makes me truly, truly, truly happy right now is seeing you guys watch my videos, liking, commenting, subscribing, this is relating to my content. It's absolutely unreal to even think about that me, Kyle So, you guys actually enjoy my content. It, it means the whole world to me. I can't be more grateful or blessed. So how do I get motivation? I don't have it. It's just from within. It just comes from within. It's my own drive. 
and that's what fuels my passion for creating content on YouTube. So that is that. Thank you for your question, Ashley. Don't eat smoke marijuana. That's it. I'm a good boy. Usually I listen to EDM or I listen to rap. In some occasions I do listen to sad songs. I don't know what it is. Without sad songs, they just motivate me to just like, you know, push harder, whatever, you know? I don't know what it is. I do like sad songs. That's a bye, baby. Bro, she kept, after the prank, after I stopped filming, she came, she comes up to me like, Kyle, promise me you'll never get a tattoo in your life, ever. I will literally die if you do come home with a tattoo. I will die. You don't want that. So she was cheesed, but she got over it. I think, she, I think at the end of the day, at the back of her mind, she thinks that I'm always going to get a I want a tattoo, and she thinks I might come home with one, but I'm not going to do it. Like, I just can't. If I do, it's going to be half sleep, though. Half sleep, baby. Celebrity crush is... I think I answered this question right. Alexis Ren? She's the most genuine, wholesome, cute, beautiful girl I've ever seen in my life. I'm sure there's other girls that are just like that, but just because she has a social media platform, she's a president of social media, then obviously I'm going to choose her. So, uh, Alexis Ren is definitely my celebrity crush. Actually, it could be overwhelming at times, but at the same time, I am in my fifth year, so I only have three courses. So I'm taking like a, I'm a part-time student per se, but I'm not saying it's not a lot of work because it definitely is. I feel like three courses is a lot of courses already. I'm just being lazy, but you know, I'm just a lazy person. But to answer the question, bro, if you love something so much, you'll find time for it regardless of the time of day, regardless of how you feel. If you love something, you'll get it done, period. That's how I look at things, okay? Honestly, right now, just trying to figure out what I want to do with my life. Uh, obviously, like I do want to pursue YouTube, but you know, if things all cr crumble and fail, uh, yeah, that's the most, I don't know. Just trying to figure out what I want to do with my life, pretty much. That's the most stressful thing I have right now. Uh, your next experience on the channel is whenever you want. You know, you know where I live, you have my number. Just hit me up and we'll film another video, I'm down. People love you, we vibe very well, and uh, we just have chemistry, so Violetta, hit me up. I'm down to film another video with you. Let's get it going, baby. I'm not even gonna lie. I don't mind being a personal trainer. Uh, I do love motivating my friends to work out, teaching them how to do proper exercises, uh, demonstrating like proper nutrition. But so I guess aside from a full-time YouTuber, probably a personal trainer or something in the sports medicine field so I can re help rehab people. Cause I like, at the end of the day, like the person that I am, I like making other people happy, that makes me happy. So if I can help someone like rehab from an injury and then makes them happy, that'll make me happy and fulfill me. So something along those lines pretty much. So thank you for your question, Caitlin. Favorite show at the moment right now is definitely Power. But other than that, I don't really watch TV shows. I literally just watch YouTube. If you guys look at my analytics, like I go on YouTube for like roughly three hours a day, which is absolutely unreal. It's so bad for me, but I'm just obsessed with YouTube. So, favorite show is definitely Power. And what do I do when I'm bored? I literally, I either swipe on Tinder, I play Fortnite, or I go to the gym. So, that's pretty much what I do when I'm bored. Or eat some food, go to sleep. Basic things. Thank you for your question, Gazelle. Uh, I'll be lucky to make it past 25 years old, to be honest, but... <laughs> Um, I don't know, life can change like just like this, so for me to predict where I am going to be five years, hopefully I have a girlfriend, I have a job, uh, do things that I want to do in my life and just being happy, man. I just want to be happy five years from now, regardless of what I'm doing, I just want to be happy. Um, if you guys don't know, my last girlfriend was back in grade 9 or 10, so it's like, what, seven years now? And uh, the reason why we broke up was uh, she was low-key kind of crazy. Like every time she, I pulled some money, she's like, yo, that's my money, that's my money. Or like, whatever was mine was pretty much hers. Like she made it hers without even telling me, without consent. So she was crazy in that aspect, but uh, I think we just grew apart and uh, we just, it was mutual. We met up at a mall where like we just talked, we talked and we just went our separate ways. It was mutual, uh, no hard feelings, I think. I don't know, it's been a while, but what crushed me was the fact that after two weeks we broke up, she went, she found a new boyfriend, so that just like shit on me. 
I was like, yo, is that was our two years, like two, three years together would mean nothing. Like you can just go get a rebound that quick. But anyways, if you watch this video, I hope you're doing well right now. Maybe we can reconcile. Follow me back on Instagram, okay? Send my requests, okay? Please. People who are impolite, they don't say please or thank you. People who are super extra, um, people who are not down to earth, girls who are high maintenance, um, girls who text with improper grammar and spelling, that's so like, ugh, disgusting, bro. I don't know why you can't spell things properly. Like, for example, some girl was texting me, she spelled you, like Y O U with Y E W, like, bro, nah. That's a, nah. Slow walkers, slow drivers, people who don't cut their nails, people who lie. I mean, I have a whole bunch of pet peeves, but those are pretty much it. Uh, the camera I'm using right now is the Canon G7X Mark II. It's super convenient, super portable, has a good mic, and you read anywhere you want to go and pull it out. You can put it in your pocket. It's not one of those big clunky cameras, and it's it makes the it's worth your money pretty much. It's I think it's like seven or eight hundred dollars, but it's it's a worth your money for sure. Like I would recommend this to anybody who's starting out YouTube. Like you don't need those big fancy cameras, the Sony A7 Mark III with the lenses, with the Rode mic. Well, obviously I do want that eventually, but right now, like I can get away with the Canon G7X. It's the most convenient, uh, affordable, portable camera for your money. So every single YouTuber uses this camera. So Canon G7X Mark II, I highly, highly recommend for any beginner YouTuber, okay? Um, because every single girl that I like don't like me back or I get friend zone because I'm too nice to them and apparently girls are just so, so attracted to fuck boys. I don't understand it. I'll never understand it. It is what it is. You get hurt and start crying like, okay, that's your fault though. I was here the whole time. I could have treated you like a princess, but you know, you decide to uh, choose a fuck boy who would cheat on you. So that's on you guys. Uh, my tip of advice or life advice is I have two actually. So one comes from my dad. My dad always tells me, if they can do it, you can too. And uh, never sell yourself short. Always believe in yourself. Know that you have the capabilities to do whatever you want to do with your life as long as you have the mindset and you have the drive for it. So what he says, pretty much what he says is, uh, if they can do it, you can do it too. If not, you can do it better. So that's the, my first tip or life advice. Uh, my second advice I would give somebody is, First of all, I just want to preface by saying this, I'm not a life coach. I'm just a normal ass kid trying to figure out my life right now, but I feel like I have somewhat of a platform that people actually listen to me. So anyways, the second point is don't try to get other people's validation or acceptance for whatever things you want to do in your life. Just know that there's so many people in this world that want to bring you down, so many people that want to see you fail just know that whatever you want to do in your life, whatever you want to pursue in your life, whether that be going to the gym, eating more healthy, uh, getting a 4.0 GPA, getting a girlfriend, whatever it is like in life, whatever you want to do, just know that don't look for other people's acceptance of what you want to do because no matter what, at the end of the day, people will judge you regardless. And those are the people you don't want in your life you don't want to surround yourself with because all it is is just negativity and toxicness and you don't want that in your life. You want people who, who want to build you up and see you succeed and you want the same for them. So as you grow older and older, you'll start cutting more and more people off as, you know, as cheesy or cliche as that sounds, your circle gets smaller, but it's just a harsh reality of it. And uh, just don't look for other people's acceptance of what you want to do in your life. Just know that whatever you want to do, just do it. Um, life is so short, man. Just, I just, just be happy. Um, yeah, so just take that leap of faith, whatever you want to do, whether it's YouTube, um, going to med school, whatever it is, just don't look for other people's validation for what you want to do with your life, okay? Do what makes you happy at the end of the day. Smile more like Yopi always says. Just know what you want to take and know, have an idea of what kind of profession you want because you don't want to be those students who go to, go to university and change their program two years in, waste their parents' money, and uh, just really, you know, just think about what you want to do with your life and whether college is even right for you. That'll be the video for today. Like I said, I'm going to put all the timestamps 
down below so you guys don't have to search whatever questions I answered. So hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. Uh, don't forget to like my video, subscribe if you're new. We'll see you in the next one and call out.